guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my empties um, to show you for February. And let's just get right into it. I don't have a lot of empties. Like, this is what my bag looks like. Um, I don't know. I didn't use up a lot of products, I guess. Um, however, I'm missing candles, which usually take up a lot of space. But whatever. All right. First thing I used up was this Philosophy Snow Angel um, Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Bubble Bath. And I wish you could see what color it was. It was kind of like a snowy blue color, I believe. And it literally smelled like, it's hard to tell. It kind of smells like a chlorine pool, but it also smells like what you'd think snow would smell like. So it smelled really good. Um, this worked great as a shampoo, shower gel, or bubble bath. I didn't use it as really a bubble bath and maybe tried it once or twice. But I actually used this as a shampoo for the majority of the time. Well, yeah, I would say three-fourths of the bottle as a shampoo. And then I also used it as a shower gel. And it worked great for both. It was just really gentle. And um, I would purchase this again. However, I do believe that this is a um, limited edition product for the holidays. So I don't know if you can still buy it. It might be on clearance if you can. And it would be at Ulta or Sephora or maybe online. Um, so I did like that. I don't know if I'd buy it again, actually. For myself I got it as a gift for my sister but I don't know if I'd buy it again for myself just because they have so many good scents and um, from the philosophy line and uh, I'd like to try more of them anyway uh, next thing I used up was this romantic wish hydrating body lotion I've had this for a long time I don't even know like how popular the scent was or if you can still get it but it's um, freesia and cucumber blossom and to me, it smells like fruit and like cucumber melon. This is what it looks like. And it was a light, fresh, fruity, girly scent. I really did like it. Um, it was kind of more mild on the mild side. All right, I used up a aromatherapy eucalyptus spearmint body wash and foam bath. This is what it looks like. And if you guys have watched my videos, you know that I love this. And I will constantly repurchase this. I have another one of these and the lotion that goes with it already. So I don't need to go out and purchase it now. But you can buy it online or in the stores or at the outlets or whatever. It's just amazing. It smells so refreshing. The candle smells amazing of this too. Love it, love it, love it. I'll never stop buying that. I used up a Creamy Pumpkin Bath and Body Works Antibacterial. This is a foaming soap. This is one that was in like a weird container and I got it at the outlet. And... I think these were like the test scent containers or something because I think they're going to be coming out with this new shape, which is kind of frustrating for the people that buy those little like metal tin holders that go for the soaps because this is a completely different shape and then your soaps won't fit in them anymore if you decide to buy the foaming ones. Um, so that was crappy of Bath and Body Works to do. It would be nice if they'd let you like exchange your old covered tin thing for a new one, but whatever, you know, you never know. Um, so I did like this. It got overwhelmingly sickening of a scent. It, I mean, it smells really good. I think I'd like it more in a candle scent as opposed to like a soap scent because I started to not really want to wash my hands with this because it was so strong and just holiday smelling and I just was over the holidays. So I um, do like it and I would repurchase it and I think I would actually prefer it in like home fragrance, like a candle version. All right, I used up an Avon silicone glove hand cream. This is a holiday one. They were only $1.99 or something. You can get them around the holidays. They have this hand cream year-round, but this is the little holiday edition one. <coughs> and um, it's not my favorite of the, um, like, Avon hand creams. My favorite is, like, the intensive moisturizing, yada, yada, yada. That one's, like, amazing. This one was just okay. And I, I don't know if I repurchased it. I finally used up a Bumble and Bumble um, Mending Complex. This is like for damaged hair, and it comes in like a a line. Like it, there's a couple of them. I don't remember if it's like shampoo, conditioner, and then this. But I only wanted this. This is all I've ever used um, from that line. And I go to an Aveda salon to get my hair done. Well, not anymore, but I used to for like the majority of my life thus far. I've been going to an Aveda salon, and they always put this in my hair, and it was. It just remedied it so well. So I decided to buy it for myself. But after using it, like on a regular basis, it I felt like it kind of made my hair dry and crispy and more likely to snap and break. And apparently that's 
been known to happen with this and they've reformulated it a couple times but I'm not I'm not so sure it's not something I would repurchase just because it's uh, more expensive than I'd like to pay but I did like it I mean it may just have been in my own mind I'm not really sure thinking that it was like breaking my hair but anyway I used up some samples of the times wild ginger lotion you guys don't care about that I have a lot of them but I do like the scent it's nice and soft kind of smells like ginger ale I guess if you like that um, I'm going to grab two of these. I got a couple samples from Sephora of the Glam Glow, which I was super excited to try. And I got the, um, like, regular Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. And then I got the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. So there's, like, a white one and a black one. And I prefer this one. I saw more results from this one. Um, this one's geared more toward acne, but it's basically like a clay mask you put on and you can literally like see all the holes from your pores. It's just like sucking out the, uh, um, you know, dirt and oils, but the black one, it was like disgusting how it looked when it got everything out. And then after I washed it off and looked in the mirror, it was like I had no pores anymore. It was amazing for that day. Like that's something I would want to use on like the morning of my wedding day or something to like make my face look a million times better but um I would love to purchase this in the full size I'm just I don't know <sighs> I'm mulling it over because it's like $69 for the full size of these anyway um and that was from Sephora I used up a Pond's clear pore strip it's just one of the nose strips I don't know they're fun to use I never feel like they're getting out as much as you want them to but whatever I used up an own skin health lifting eye cream I think I got this from a beauty army box a while ago and like slowly used it up but you know like it was a little sample thing like this and it was filled up in there there still might be yeah there's still some left in there but I wasn't looking at this the other day I forgot it was an eye cream and I totally put it all over my face thinking it was like face cream I was like I'm gonna use this up and put it all over my face only to see like oh yeah it's an eye cream so not my favorite there was something special about it when I used it as an eye cream so, not something I'm going to repurchase. I used up Secret Outlast and Olay Completely Clean Deodorant. You guys don't care about that. I used up my favorite um, tooth, uh, tooth, toothpaste, Dental Floss Glide. Um, if you guys have ever, if you floss your teeth and you notice that the floss shreds or you hate doing it because it's like hard to get in between your teeth, try Crest Glide. Um, this one or the blue one that has like a mint flavor to it because they're very ribbon-like. Same with Colgate. Colgate has like a Colgate floss that's not waxed. It's like the ribbon floss. It reminds you of like a ribbon. It fits in between your teeth very easily. Use up Sensodyne Pro Enamel. Travel size. Um, crust sensitivity. Travel size. And this was so disgusting that I like, I, I brush my teeth in the shower and I'm not kidding you. I use this t at least two times. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I've used it a couple times, but um, at least two times I threw up from this like threw up in the shower because it is so disgusting like that's how gross it was it's advanced white it's an arm and hammer arm and hammer advanced white baking soda and peroxide toothpaste in fresh mint i do not recommend it it's disgusting like oh i don't know if you guys like baking soda toothpaste but it's it's really gross i mean i would never recommend that to my patients all right i used up a travel size um bath and body works vanilla be noel shower gel and I love this scent. Um, I bought this as well as some more of it during the semi-annual sale. So I'm a little bit stocked up. I finally, finally used up this True Blue Spa Sugar 60 Second Manicure Hand Scrub. And um, I completely cleaned it out. So you can't even see what it looked like. It was like pink. It smelled like pink lemonade slash sugar. It smelled so good that you would just want to eat it. Um, it didn't really do much though. I mean, you put it on your hands and you like, you know, rub it around. It's supposed to do it around your cuticles, but that never really works too well. It's so much easier just to like rinse it around your hands. And the sugar dissolves. It turns more into like a foamy, frothy type consistency, like white. Um, it started out like pinkish clear. And I don't know, when you wash your hands off, your hands just feel kind of sticky as if there's like sugar on them and, you know, sticky hands and they're dry. It didn't really do much. So not my favorite and I wouldn't repurchase it. I did actually when I bought this for myself, I bought like one or two for a friend of mine. Hope she didn't dislike it as much as I did. Okay. 
I finally, finally used up the Steel Bigelow Rose Salve. I love this, so I can't say like I hated using it. It just literally lasts me forever. Like I kept it by my bedside and put it on every single night and like look at that. Like I literally used it all up. Um, I was determined. It's for your like face, lips, cuticles, elbows, knees. You can put it wherever. So like toward the end I was kind of putting it on my elbows and my knees, especially during the winter because they were dry. But um, again, that's what it looks like. It smells really good it um doesn't have like a bad taste or anything and i would put it on my lips every single night as well as like i said my cuticles and my elbows and my knees um i would repurchase this but i actually bought this same tan they have it in a lavender one instead of the rose cell they have like the lavender cell and i have a brand new one already so i'm going to be using that as soon as i'm done with my current like lip balm that i have by my bed all right and then, I don't know if I should show you this now, but I'm currently using a wallflower and sugared lemons, and it does smell good. It's almost gone. I can see it from here. And um, it's literally been one where, like, I, on any random given day, I can come into my bedroom and smell it. And I don't have that with a lot of wallflowers. They usually last, like, a week, and then they just completely go away, and the scent goes away, and it's really disappointing. But... This one's actually really good, so I kind of wish I'd bought more. It smells exactly like sugared lemon, like lemonade. It's yummy. All right, and then I, um, I have this Pixie Lash Booster Mascara that I got in an Ipsy bag, and honestly, ugh, I can't get this to work for me. This does not need to be tossed. It's, like, still good. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. It's not a good mascara. I mean, it's... I've probably used it maybe five times and it's been disappointing every single time it doesn't lift my lashes it doesn't like coat them with anything it's so watery and runny and the like brush I don't know it looks like it should just work but it doesn't it's just bad it's just really really bad and I would give this to someone but you know like I don't know if someone wants my used mascara and um it's just not worth it I don't want someone to be like be like this mascara sucks so I'm just gonna toss it and then I did use up um, this sample you can see there's like nothing even really on this this is my favorite mascara um, high-end I should say because my actual favorite is the Ulta brand the amped lashes but this is the like um, Lancome Hypnos is that what it is I can't even remember um, it looks like this it's like a squiggly one it's like wider there but it's like squiggly if you want to watch me swirl it I don't know what it is about this it just it's just amazing it's a thicker formula and it really like lifts your lashes while it's like applying so it like curls them and just doesn't clump and completely like coats them and you can do several coats and it just works really well it's a really 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 good mascara this one and then there's like a Clinique one are my like favorite high-end ones that I've tried so far so anyway those are all my products that I've used up for the month of February, and I, um, I'll be filming soon my <laughs> empties videos for March, because now March is halfway over, so I'm sorry for this video being delayed. I know you guys like seeing my empties, and um, yeah, thumbs up if you like empties videos. Subscribe if you haven't. Welcome to all my new subscribers. I apologize if I haven't been, like, contacting you guys for some reason. When I get, like, a message or a post or anything about YouTube, it, like, doesn't notify my Gmail account like on my phone so I don't get any notifications that you guys are even posting things or subscribing to me or whatever I finally just went in my gmail today and checked it like what's going on and no I noticed like 35 new messages or something from like all the activity going on so I apologize for that I have to figure it out and find a way to get it to actually notify me when I get new messages so anyway I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye